Senior Parliamentary Secretary Sun Xueling. Mr. Chairman, I will speak on home ownership, which is central to providing stability and progress for families in the long run. Home ownership gives Singaporeans a stake in our country and gives each family a permanent place to call their own. Also, households can use their CPF to pay for their mortgage, giving them a home and an asset instead of using cash to pay rent. That said, some families run into difficulties such as job losses and are unable to own a home for some time. We work closely with MSF to ensure that they are not left without a roof on their heads, over their heads. And those who lack family support and alternative housing options will be assisted with public rental housing. Members have asked how we help tenants to attain home ownership. We agree that public rental should only be temporary for tenants who are work capable and are therefore increasing support to help tenants progress towards home ownership. As highlighted by Mr. Saktiandi Supat, the Fresh Start Housing Scheme was designed for this purpose. We introduced Fresh Start in 2016 to assist second-timer rental families with children to buy a two-room flat. Families on the scheme can get a grant of up to $35,000 and beyond direct financial assistance, we seek to ensure that the families can sustain home ownership independently. We also work with MSF to check in with the families regularly to ensure that the family situation remains stable. To provide Mr Ong Teng Kun with an update, as of last month, 74 families have joined Fresh Start, of which five families have collected their keys. These numbers may seem small, but for those who benefit from the scheme, the help provided means a lot, and we want them to succeed in their home ownership journey. This is why we regularly review ways to enhance Fresh Start and to intensify support for those who are already on the scheme. I will share more details on these enhancements at MND's COS. Through Fresh Start, we have gained a better understanding of how best to support our tenants in their journey towards home ownership. For example, some needed advice on budgeting for a flat purchase and others shared that they appreciated the face-to-face -face support from the Fresh Start team. As members can imagine, it is a manpower-intensive effort, but such individualised efforts are well worth it. We are heartened by this and want to scale up our efforts. I am pleased to share that we will set up the Home Ownership Support Team, a dedicated team in HDB to help our rental households towards home ownership. We want to provide stronger, personalised hand-holding for families who are ready for home ownership. The Home Ownership Support Team will help tenants navigate home ownership policies and processes from discussing the options that would best meet their needs and budget and guide them through the purchase, checking in to ensure that the family remains on track for key collection. We have learned that having someone to consult and more importantly to provide the human touch is important for our tenants. The Home Ownership Support Team will be set up later this year and will start reaching out to families with potential for home ownership. Home ownership may not be an immediate goal for some tenants who may first need to address more complex challenges such as family conflict. Our priority is to help these families stabilise. Hence, we will be providing spaces for MSF to establish social service hubs near rental flats to offer localised programmes and services. And once these families have stabilised, we look forward to engaging them for HDB to work with them on their journey towards home ownership. I have met many rental tenants who aspire towards home ownership. Some shared with me that they are working hard and saving up diligently to buy a flat for themselves and to give their families a better future. We are heartened that last year about 1,300 households moved into home ownership. These numbers have increased steadily in the last few years. We want to keep this up and will work hard to partner our tenants in their efforts. Mr. Chairman, in Chinese, please. 居者有其屋,讓每個新加坡人能夠安居樂業,與國家共同成長。
尽管如此，有些个别家庭还是会遇到生活上的困难，例如失业，使他们没有能力购买祖屋。议员们之前询问，我们如何帮助租赁祖屋中的家庭拥有房屋？我可以告诉大家。去年已经有一千三百户家庭搬出了租赁祖屋，成功拥有了属于他们自己的祖屋。我们将继续增加这方面的努力，帮助租赁祖屋中的家庭实现他们的拥屋梦想。我们发现，一些租赁祖屋中的居民在购买祖屋时需要预算方面的建议，还有一些居民说，他们反非常感激面对面的辅导和帮助。我很高兴地告诉大家，建屋发展局将会建立一个租户拥屋扶助小组，他们将帮助租赁祖屋中的居民迈向拥有自己的祖屋的旅程。租户拥屋扶助小组将会首先帮助这些居民了解购买政府祖屋的政策和程序，根据他们的需要和预算讨论合适的选项，并引导他们购房。尽量确保一切进展顺利，直到拿到钥匙。我们发现，有人帮助提供信息的咨询，对这些居民非常的重要。而更重要的是，是人与人之间的那种关怀。有一些家庭在购房之前，可能需要先解决一些更复杂的一些挑战，例如家庭矛盾。所以我们首先要做的是帮助这些家庭稳定下来，所以我们也将为社会与家庭发展部提供空间，在租赁祖屋的周边建立社会服务中心，提供帮助我们租赁祖屋居民的项目和活动。一旦这些家庭稳定下来，我们就会协助他们走向拥有自己祖屋的旅程。谢谢 ，Thank you。